Hey guys, it's John. You are on the JRB Tree Climbing Channel. With this video, I'm starting a new playlist on SRT. SRT, Single Rope Technique. It uses an SRS, that's a stationary rope system, which is different than a moving rope system or MRS that some of you know and know as DRT. We've got a lot of names, we've got a lot of acronyms. If you ever get confused about that, I've got a page on my website, jrbtreeclimbing.com, which is the Saddle Hunter's Dictionary of Terms. You can go there and, and, and learn these, these terms or refresh your memory. With this introduction, I am going to just basically go over some of the ways that we can climb SRT on non-mechanical systems. There is a misconception that SRT requires mechanical devices and that's that's not the case and there's also a misconception that srt requires if you're if you're not using mechanical devices well it's going to require some fairly complex knots to tie at the tree and that's not the case now every situation is unique with srt and i've counted up the number of different ways that I can SRT climb when we think about the three primary parts of an SRT system. What, what are they? Well, they are the anchor. The anchor is, is that which secures the rope in the tree. Our primary point of attachment, that's how our bridge attaches to the tree. And our means of advancement, typically that's a foot loop, but it can vary depending on the nature of the system. And so I, I am going to basically in upcoming videos be showing you a number of different scenarios whereby we can SRT climb and adapt our system to the exact application. Now, I didn't give you any details. I'll give it to you in the next video. But I just did something you may have never seen done before. I just rigged up an SRT system with a canopy anchor that I'm about to climb on. And I didn't tie any knots, and I didn't use any mechanical devices. I just rigged it into the tree. We'll go over that in detail. Give me a minute, and we'll come back, because I'm going to do a quick climb. But just for all the naysayers who think that rope climbing is hard, and I'm no strong man, but that's 25 pounds each. And these are 25 pounds each. And between those and these two bags and these two carabiners, that came up at 105 pounds in the scale. I'm gonna SRT climb. It's not gonna be pretty, but I'm gonna SRT climb with, basically, I weigh 185, so do the math. We're coming in close to 300 pounds. And my little quadriceps aren't used to lifting that kind of weight. But I'm going to climb on this just to show you it's possible. There's a reason that arborists use ropes to climb the trees. Ropes are incredibly strong. They are incredibly strong. You can't imagine how strong they are. They're, they're stronger than 20 times the load. What else do you climb on that's that strong? Don't mistake safety for lateral stability. Gravity operates vertically. So if I sway a little bit on this, that's not a big deal. That is not affecting my safety. It's only affecting my lateral stability. That we can get comfortable with. What, there's a saying in the arborist industry, and that's to learn to trust your ropes. Well, here in the saddle industry, first we've got to learn to use our ropes. All right, give me a minute. I'm going to put this stuff on. Okay, so if you don't believe I'm wearing 105 pounds, you're on the wrong channel. This is the JRB Ascender. This is the Garda Hitch Foot Loop. Now, why do I say that rope climbing done right is easier than other methods? Well, the only time that we're exerting effort is when we're lifting our body up. Right now I'm at rest. I can't feel the weight except for what's on my shoulder. Now, ordinarily I climb with only one foot, but with this much weight, I'll be climbing with two feet. And I'm going to stand up, but you can see I've got two legs to lift me, and I've got some amount of strength in two hands. And I'm going to shove that hitch up. I can't make quite 
as big a move here as I can if without this weight. But clearly that's a respectable advancement. Now this friction hitch, it doesn't know if I weigh 300 pounds or if I've just loaded it. But look how easily that moves. And let's say that friction hitch failed. I'm tied in. I've got redundancy. All right, that's going to do for height. No lie, I'm working. But don't use the word impossible, or I might try to figure out a way. Um, I don't need it, and so I'm going to drop it. I've just formed a super munter. See my videos on repel. Now watch this. Close to 300 pounds on the JRB Ascender. Let's break it. Going slow. Going slow. Now it's broken. And I'll start my repel. Slowly. Always slowly. And again, at any time in the climb, if you let go of the system, it'll catch you. You can re-break that. Now. All right. You guys get the idea. I can't wait to show you some of the real world configurations, but don't tell me rope climbing's hard. Thank you.